the phone came partially undone and you could hear it. Oh, oh it was bad for you. <laughs> not my face, not my face, not my face. Uh -huh. He turned bright red and he starts walking back over. How embarrassing. How long have you been standing there? I said long enough to know not my face. <laughs> Are you gonna tell my mom? I said, Frankie, I love you way too much to do that to you. I would never tell your mom. I'm gonna tell everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't tell his mom. <laughs> I said, look, I know you're not gonna stop watching stuff like this, so just do me a favor, don't do this here. You're old enough now to watch whatever you wanna watch, but as long as you live in this house, you cannot be watching stuff like that where your mom can catch you. <laughs> you're not gonna stop, so just don't do it here. How do you know I'm not gonna stop? <laughs> Cause I haven't stopped. <laughs> Matter of fact, there's a sequel to that. Uh -uh. It's called Not My Hair. Uh-uh. <laughs> Some of you, que cochino, so you know, old right? Is, how old is Frankie? 19. Oh, okay. I said, Frankie, if you're gonna watch stuff like that, just <laughs> go in your room, lock your door. I don't wanna catch you. Okay, so let me know. Want me to text you? Never mind. I <laughs> know, right? That's too much, too much. Well, I'm on, in the middle of up. trying to... I mean, I think that's kind of cool that, you know, he's saying that because, you know, what... He's pretty much an adult, so what can you say, really? But he is in your house, and those are your guidelines, so I get it. What do you think? It just depends on your household. I mean, I understand that, but as a 19-year-old son, out of respect, you know what I'm saying? Because when he goes in his room, he's going to do it anyway, most likely. So just know my rules is I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to be around it. Yep. Because when did you move out of your mom's house? Was it 19, 20, 21? When you went to k Well, I was, I had, um, 02. I went to k -Roll that year. It had to be 17 or 18. I'm thinking 18. I think I hit 18. I think I might have been 19 that, that, um, that October. Okay. Yeah, 18. Okay. Deal with this whole situation with my son watching these videos and not going to work and while I'm doing this I get the most random phone call I have ever gotten my publicist calls me up and she's like Gabe Snoop Dogg is looking for you what? excuse me COVID. Snoop Dogg you know I know who Snoop Dogg is but what do you mean he's looking for me well he's looking for is he looking for me or is he looking for me <laughs> right. He's a fan and he wants to interview you. Oh, cool. Sounds good. What is it? I think it's some type of podcast. I'm in. Can I bring Frankie? Absolutely. Maybe it's cool. CG. So I hang up the phone. I'm excited. I want to tell or my GG. son. I'm like, Frankie, I'm walking towards your room. Right. I'll be at your door in three, two, one. Hey, all right. You're dressed. Good. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Where are we going? Watch. We get in the car, and now we're off on this adventure to go do an interview with Snoop Dogg. So you guys, cool. let me tell you something. We get to the neighborhood, and we're lost. The GPS says we're there, but we're lost. We're looking for a house, and there's no house, just a big building. And so I'm like, this, this doesn't look like a podcast, really? So I pull up to the security gate. <laughs> Tap the button on the wall. Security desk, can I help you? Hey, security desk, my name is Gabriel Iglesias, and uh, uh, I think I'm here to do an interview with Snoop Dogg. Okay, one moment. Oh, okay, this is it, good, good. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Snoop Dogg, this is gonna be cool, right? <laughs> Sir? Yes. Yes, hi, there is no Gilbert Ignatius on file. Who? <laughs> oh, oh. Could there be another name? Another name, I don't know, a Fluffy maybe? <laughs> and the gate starts to open. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I'm officially in the rapper's world because my real name doesn't mean shit. <laughs> so we drive in and we're
we're passing all of these reserved parking spaces. Reserve, 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 reserve. And we get to my space, which is basically an orange cone that has fluffy handwritten on it. And a bunch of other names crossed off. <laughs> so Frankie moves the cone, I park the car. We walk into the building. My publicist is waiting for me, right? And she's like, Gabe, you made it. Frankie, how are you? Listen, I just finished talking to Snoop. <sighs> wow. He is everything you think he is and just a little bit more. He is so sweet. I cannot believe he was charged with double murder. Oh, man. <laughs> he told me to just walk you guys into the studio and he'll be right back. He said he had to go outside and get in the right headspace or something. I just, okay, cool. So she walks us into Snoop's studio. I'm thinking I'm there for a podcast. Come to find out it's for a TV show. Snoop has a TV show where he interviews he celebrities. Yeah. Everyone in the room is waiting for Snoop to return. You can hear the small talk. You know? <laughs> All of a sudden, everyone stands up. And I'm looking around like, what's going on? And I look at the door to see if Snoop's walking in and I don't see him. And I could see my son. I don't realize that Snoop is entering the room through a different door. Right. I don't realize it till like the last second. I'm like, what are you? Oh! So I jump up. I push <laughs> in my chair. I'm so nervous. I don't know how to address God, him. So I'm like. That's dope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me bow. I what else do I do? <laughs> so <laughs> Snoop walks over to me and he's so cool, you guys. Yeah. He's so cool. He walks over to me and he grabs my hand. He's really strong. He pulls me in and he says, yo, what it do, baby boo? How you feel? <laughs> Let's go, Fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me. Yeah. Can I sit down? For sure. <laughs> I sit down. I look over. I see my son. My son's like... <laughs> The difference between Snoop's show versus any other talk show I've ever done is that usually there's a person, like a producer or a director, who comes to you and gives you information, like how the show begins, topics you're going to cover, mm -hmm. how you go to commercial, how you come back from commercial. I've spoken to no one. Snoop just starts talking, and at some point, they hit record. I'm waiting for action or a buzzer and something. Snoop just starts talking to me. Yo, what up, Big Fluff? <laughs> Big Fluff? Oh, that's it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you like music? Snoop, I love music. I love your music. Yeah, that's what's up. He opens up a laptop computer and then he hits play. And the next thing I know, we are listening to hardcore Mexican banda music. Okay. Let's I mean go. hardcore. <laughs> and you can hear gunshots in the song. <laughs> and then a cow. <laughs> and the whole time Snoop is like, I love it when he go moo. <laughs> I feel like he's messing with me because I'm Mexican, right? So I called him out. I said, Snoop, do you understand what you're listening to? And he said this, and it scared me. He said, gangster recognized gangster. <laughs> the reason why it scared me was because he was telling the truth. We were listening to actual Mexican cartel songs that don't play on the radio. Oh. And the fact that he knew that, the fact that his level of street knowledge in another language was that on point, I said, I gotta shut the hell up. <laughs> don't speak unless spoken to, that's the, that's the code. <laughs> Next thing I know, Snoop reaches under the desk and he pulls out the biggest blunt I have ever seen. <laughs> Oh, this sucker was huge. 
As soon as he pulled out that freaking blunt, I got excited because I wanted to grab my cell phone. Okay? I wanted to grab my cell phone so that I could take a selfie of Snoop in the background being Snoop. So while I'm fumbling trying to get my phone, <laughs> Snoop starts talking to me again. Yo, Big Fluff. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> hit that while I hit this. The second I went like that, all of the cameras in the room, red light, red light, red light, red light, red light. My publicist is like, no! My son is like, yeah! And now I'm being faced, bro, I'm being faced with a serious situation because, you know, I've talked about friends participating in doing stuff like this, but I've never openly talked about myself you know. And now I realize that from this moment forward, people are going to know what happened here with Snoop. So I started trying to find ways to justify it to myself. You know, <laughs> if you're going to do something like this on camera, you want it to be with Snoop. You want it to be with Snoop, Cheech and Chong, <laughs> right. Or Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson. <laughs> Next thing I know, the manager hands me a lighter. I light it and I take a big hit. Done. Ooh, done. So listen, done. I'm doing my best doing. to hold in all this smoke. Pass because out. I don't want to look like a punk in front of Snoop Dogg. I'm trying. I'm fighting, bro. It's hard, you know. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I know that's right. I'll pass too. Uh-uh. I'll pass too. <laughs> I'll pass too. <laughs> Let me tell you, there's so many people, artists, that have said when they go over there, and you know that they, they smoke, and then they say when they go smoke with him, they're like, oh my God, that's it's totally another different level. level. Yeah, I'm sure. Because I'm sure Snoop has like the best of the best. Probably and different strands. And then he is so accustomed and adapt to it. Yeah. He it just he could flow and do his thing. Yeah. Whereas somebody else done. Especially what if you get somebody of that and they don't smoke at all? Well, I mean you out. the person you out. the person who don't smoke at all and does that needs to be using their common sense to know. What's that? They what? are truly a uh, amateur. Compare it to Snoop as a pro. Your best bet is just to smell it and or, pass or, and give it back to him. one little baby puff and be done. Because you take a that, long puff and inhale it, that's all you need. It'll be done. That one baby puff probably I know. take some of that. Well, he said he took a long puff and, and it, he was holding it in. How you focus with this person? Oh, like, oh my, my gosh. gosh. I'm curious to see what happened. <laughs> <laughs> right. What happened, Fluffy? <laughs> The whole time Snoop is like, hell yeah. That's what I'm saying. Fluffy going puffy today. Uh uh. And gonna pass out. I do not remember the rest of the interview. I see. See? see? What I remember <laughs> is my buddy Anthony telling Snoop Dogg and I to stand up for a picture. Stand up, get him for, for a picture. And so Snoop and I both stand up to take this. Bro, I'm it, just imagining what's happening. It switched from that to you taking up, taking a picture. And falling flat on his face. I'm curious. I doubt it. But that's, he, missed, he, missed, else. he missed the whole in middle yeah. the interview. Picture. I put my arm around him. Um, I have to put my arm around him because he's much taller than me, okay? Snoop has me by at least... Five inches. <laughs> Shut up, are you? Because <laughs> <laughs> you know how tall Snoop is. She visualizing it, Fluff. She visualizing it. Ooh, she visualizing it. You guys are laughing at the wrong jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Bow wow. Yeah. 
exactly. Everybody's like, this is a family show. Well, apparently that's how families are made. <laughs> that was too funny, sir. That was too funny. I, it's sad how hard she laughed at that as she looked right at you. I said, Snoop has me by at least five inches. And she's like, ah! Almost like she wasn't even laughing at me. She was like laughing at you. So apparently you guys have some story that I just reignited and, and now it's awkward for all the kids. So anyway. Stop it.